Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog channel. My name is Kelly, I'm the vlogger of the channel. I have been procrastinating vlogging because I have been procrastinating making my nail polish drawer that I bought in my last vlog. But I believe today is the day that we're actually gonna do it. Ryan said he would help me. I was gonna do a Q&A for this vlog, but I decided I'm gonna wait and do that maybe my next vlog. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should go follow me there because then you'll be able to submit a question for my Q&A. But I also did order something on Amazon that came today, which is kind of why I decided to stop procrastinating and start vlogging. And I also got a couple of little PR packages. So I figured we could open those up together because I don't know, it's fun opening things on camera because it makes me feel like I'm opening them with a friend. <laughs> By the way, oh, I did open this one because I, I didn't know what it was because it just, it was labeled for Marissa, but I opened it and it, it is in fact for me and it's also my address so but yeah i think they they just meant kelly marissa i also am wearing kelly's solar flare which sadly is not available but i don't know i was just i saw it on my nail polish tower and it was like looking back at me and i was like oof i gotta wear you so that's what i've been wearing and i'm, I'm just very pleased with it i'll start with the pr packages the first one is from it cosmetic oh my gosh this one also says it's to marissa <laughs> yeah this is from it cosmetics i can already tell that it is a mascara it is the waterproof superhero mascara and we also have some eyeshadow sticks look at that how fun is that i actually get a little nervous about wearing waterproof mascara just because i'm so bad at getting it off of my lashes i feel like it's just stuck on there forever i am a fan of the superhero mascara it's usually in a black container but this time it is blue and it's actually super pretty and then we have these superhero no tug shadow sticks i've never used these am i opening this right oh <gasps> This is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is silk armor. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a very nice little sheen to it. Very cute. And then we have this one, which is called Passionate Pearl. You know, I, I'm obviously, I'm more prone to wearing more colorful eyeshadows, but what I really love is like a little eyeshadow stick like this that I can put in my inner corner that just kind of makes the look like a little bit brighter because my inner corners are just a little bit dark. So yeah, that's really cute. My camera died. I don't know if you missed any of that, but yeah, I was asking for recommendations if anybody knows something good that can remove waterproof mascara from my lashes because I feel like I use those, what are they called, face halos, those reusable makeup remover, and that does not do anything for waterproof mascara. But yeah, the next product I got, this is a brand called Sana Jardine. That sounds like I'm pronouncing it wrong. But look at how cute this packaging is. I didn't open it yet, and I've actually never heard of this brand, but I looked them up. Apparently, it is a perfume brand. I've been making more of an effort to wear my perfumes. I'm a huge perfume person. I love wearing perfumes. I love smelling good, but I feel like after 2020, I kind of just gave up on wearing them because I was like, I'm gonna save all my perfumes for when I can start going out again. And you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, why don't I just wear perfume because I like smelling good? So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Oh my gosh, it's a whole bunch of samples. This is exciting. Oh, there's a, all the names. So this is the Socially Conscious Fragrance House. There's a lot of different names on here and I'm gonna be honest, I'm bad at pronouncing things. So I'm gonna just put it right here. You can check them out. Let's try one. I wanna try the vanilla, actually no, the sandalwood temple sounds like the kind of thing that I would wear. Oh. Oh my gosh, what is this reminding me of? Honestly, this is a weird thing to say, but it kind of smells like when you're walking through the fancy stores in either the mall or on the strip. This smells so good. This is Sandalwood Temple. I kind of want to try another one now because that smells so good. I'm actually, I, I know people hate when people are like, I don't know how to pronounce this brand and then don't look it up. I am constantly looking up not only brands, but also names. Like I just, I'm terrible at pronouncing things, but Google always seems to be wrong because I'll pronounce something after googling it and then people will be like you're pronouncing that so wrong this is very cute so this this is the brand this i smell so good right now i love that but anyway now let's get to the thing that i bought on amazon that i'm very excited about i feel like i'm very behind on learning about this product existing I got, it says lint remover, but it's a it's a pill remover. So you know when your shirts like have those little, like little pilling on it? That's what this removes. And 
I want to try it right now. Apparently this is not an intuitive thing because there's like an extra piece here. Ooh, this looks scary. Oh wait, maybe that's just an extra refill piece because I think there's already one in here. Use the, the motor to drive the blade and the cutter head to trim the hairballs on the clothes. Hairballs? The suction force generated by the fan blade will accumulate the trim. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was very scary. Okay, well, it seems like it's already charged, but it comes with a little charger and it also comes a little cleaner thing. And there's also instructions on how to clean it. Okay, let's try it. I grabbed this shirt, my little skeleton friend. There's also little fuzzes on this from the dryer. This is a very pilly shirt. I don't know if you can see it. This is actually the shirt that inspired me to buy this, but let me put it on the table and then we can see if it works together. Let's learn. All right. I don't know if you can see the pilliness level of this. I hope this doesn't ruin this shirt. Although this is like a $10 shirt from Amazon, so it wouldn't be the worst. Okay, let's just do it. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can. Look at this, you can tell this is the exact spot I did it. This is all the little pilling on either side. <sighs> That's crazy. I'm so pleased right now. I do feel like this is me continuing to procrastinate from making my nail polish drawer, but I kind of want to go deep hill more of my clothes. I kind of just like one more. I just want to try one more. You know, when you buy something, you want to use it. So hold on, let me get another one just for fun. Okay, so small update. I've been procrastinating and depilling a lot of my stuff and I posted about it on my Instagram story and Leah saw it and now she wants to come over with something to depill, but that's fine because I actually have some stuff of hers that she needs to take. So the procrastination continues. I'm really pumping up this depiller. Honestly, I mean, I've only done a few items of clothing, but I'm like, this is the best thing ever. But yeah, I don't know if she wants to be vlogged, but if not, I will update you after. Oh, but she did say that she could build the Helmer for me. So maybe I will make her be in the vlog for a second. So Leah's here because she wanted to use the pill thing on her stuffed animal. Pat him on! It kind of worked. It kind of, it didn't work the best, but His it, face looks you should have seen what he looked like before because it was, really it was rough. Ryan is watching a devil's game right now, so we all wait. The TV has yeah, been on this whole the time. The TV <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Today's video is sponsored by Red Bull. No, it's not. <laughs> I've actually never had a Red Bull in my life. So, Leah is actually going to build my helmet for me. I'm probably gonna have to help. No, I could do it myself. Really? I used to build couches by myself, but they say this is heavy, build this with someone, and I'm like. I got this. I build things by myself too. It's just that Helmer's the worst thing ever. Yeah, I know what the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get a dud, okay. it'll be a problem. Let's go do it. Okay. We're getting a lot of couch. I'm gonna move this over. Now you're in it. Oh, hey, there's me. I cannot do this one. <laughs> move on to the next one. that I'm saying is actually a SpongeBob quote today. I'm just saying in any instance when they're like, hey, we've got, you know, cyborg options, I'm fine with taking them. What parts would you make cyborg? Honestly, I feel like my dominant hand would be kind of cool to be cyborg, wouldn't it? Because then I could just do stuff with this the hand. This isn't my dominant hand. I was checking to see what I thought about it. <laughs> you know what the problem is with you building this instead of Ryan? What? Is people are going to think that we broke up. <laughs> Something's happening with this guy. No, no, no. That's that's, that's just typical. The quality. <laughs> that's just the quality. I mean, baby. I've built some IKEA furniture, and I gotta say, this is pretty low qual.
Okay, we did it. Good job. We did it! Yay! Mostly me. Just kidding. <laughs> it was a team effort. It was mostly Leah, but I helped. She yeah. has a lot of nail polish. I do. I do have a lot of nail polish. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so Leah just left. I am so glad she came over, and so is Ryan, because he did not want to build that helmer today. And this one, I have to say, was a lot easier to build. I don't know if it's just because Leah is very good at building furniture, but it seemed like it was more intuitive. The last few that we did, like, didn't click, so that was definitely harder. Yeah, and then she was also taking an old TV of ours, and she wanted to use the little pill remover for her stuffed animal. <laughs> didn't work that well, though, so <laughs> maybe it's just for clothes. I don't know. But anyway, we are making dinner now, which it's not gonna be anything crazy. We're making the Daya mac and cheese. And actually, you know, these little things come with so much cheese that we actually just buy like a regular box of pasta and then we put the cheese into the full box of pasta. This is only, I guess this is 10 ounces, but I don't know, does that include the cheese? And then I just save the pasta that comes in here and I just put it in soup. I just have it in a container that I keep and I just like spoon some out when I'm making soup. But here's the exciting thing. We went to a grocery store we actually we met somebody from New Jersey and we were talking to him and he said he was like joking about like what's the number one thing you miss from New Jersey and we were both like pork roll well Ryan said Taylor ham but I know nobody outside of New Jersey is gonna know what I'm talking about but yeah the guy told us that there's grocery stores here that carry pork roll and we found some it honestly looks so gross in this we used most of it already just to you know eat it with bagels and egg and cheese. So we have a little bit left and I thought it would be really good to put it into the pasta, like cut it up into tiny little cubes and it'll almost be like ham or spam or something. So, I mean, it, it's literally, it's not usually looking like this, but like, I mean, this is uncooked in roll form. It's, it's like a log, but sometimes you can buy it sliced. Okay, update, we're not going to trivia tonight. The pork roll plan is back on, even though it, it's, it doesn't look good, but it tastes so good. First I made Ryan so cute and then mine I completely messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is the next day and I did not organize my nail polishes yesterday because Ryan and I watched a movie with dinner and I just was feeling lazy. I don't know if you can tell by just the general gloominess in here, but it is actually super cold and rainy today. So I am now wearing a sweatshirt and I've got some pants on and we're actually about to run to the dentist. When we get home, I have a lot of editing to do and then hopefully I can finally put my nail polishes away. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully we can also run to Target on the way home from the dentist because I I'm almost out of my prescription and I need to go pick up my refill. Let's go to the dentist. Actually, I'm not gonna bring you. I don't know why I said that, but I'll talk to you after. Hello, we are back from the dentist. Gotta be honest, not a great experience. It's actually like three hours later. That's how long we were there for, even though there's pretty much no wait, but we were waiting for so long in the rooms. I think I've told you guys this before, but I used to work at my brother's office and he is a dentist and he's in New Jersey. So obviously we can't go see him. We went to a place here for the first time and I feel like immediately I could tell that they were trying to upsell us on stuff. We do have honestly a kind of bad insurance for dental. I feel like they probably weren't getting as much payment as they wanted to and they were 
asking us to do a lot of services that we just did not need. And they were also telling us we, we were in separate rooms because they wouldn't let us hear about the treatment options with each other, which I thought was the first red flag because I think you're allowed to have your partner in there to discuss the payments. But yeah, they both told us that we had the same issue with the same tooth, which I think would be kind of a crazy coincidence. And they were saying that we needed to pay $2,000 extra each for a deep cleaning instead of just a regular cleaning, which was fully covered by insurance. I started, you know, pushing back on it and saying that I, I didn't think that was necessary. And I, I mentioned that my brother is our usual dentist. And the woman was like, well, why didn't you tell us that? And I was thinking, like that's so why would I need to disclose that I have a family member who's a dentist and I feel like the only reason that she would have wanted us to disclose that is if she she would know not to try to upsell us and they were saying like well since we didn't want to do the extra two thousand dollar treatment each they weren't going to clean the tartar off our teeth they were just going to give us like a regular cleaning which was literally just brushing our teeth so honestly a terrible experience and I feel like we're probably just gonna get our future cleanings in New Jersey because one like them trying to upsell us and scam us on two thousand dollars worth of dental treatments that we didn't need is kind of crazy and then also just like them being unprofessional and it seemed like after I mentioned that my brother was a dentist they got super angry with us and they were just like being incredibly short with us I don't know I, I didn't love the experience I do want to say though your dental health is incredibly important and I think for the most part it is important to listen to your doctor when they're you know recommending treatments and stuff because obviously you know your teeth health does matter and it can affect other parts of you if your health is bad with your teeth but it definitely stings that there are some people that just try to take advantage and try to push for other services that we don't need like they were telling us that we had some advanced diseases which i think if we did we would have known by now but yeah it was definitely a weird experience so we did go to target really quick to pick up my medication and we also picked up the ice cream that i've been loving lately from them let me show you if you're a non-dairy person just so you know target has incredible non-dairy desserts and this brand favorite day they have this non-dairy strawberry and fudge ice cream it is so good i got it the last time i picked up my medication refill and i loved it so much so i got it again i saw they also have salted caramel brownie and i was thinking of getting that instead but i don't know i was just kind of dreaming of this flavor so I just grabbed it. But yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of editing and then we can finally fill my nail polish drawer that Leah and I built yesterday. So yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay. I just moved over this one. This is now drawer number seven. I want to put in the polishes that I have on the floor over here, which I'll show you in a minute. You can also see I have a bunch of polishes out because they just don't fit in the drawers that I have, but I don't want to just put in random overflow. I want it to make a little bit of sense. So I guess I'll have to do a little bit of reorganizing. I'm going to put my ILNP ones in here. I know that for sure. So I'll probably dedicate Hmm, maybe I should save the top drawer for supplies and then do these two drawers for ILNP and then maybe I'll move my hollow taco ones because I know I need two drawers for that and then we'll we'll see what happens. Let's we'll just mess around. But let me show you what's over here first. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> don't mind that little stack of stuff and my little wallflower that I don't have refills for, but this is where all of my overflow is right now for ILNP. They're not usually like that, but I accidentally kicked them over yesterday and I just haven't fixed them. And then I have a few oily ones that I need to put on my nail polish tower. And then I have a couple of china glazes that I was just hiding away while I was doing other reviews. So yeah, we have a lot to clean. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is that gonna bother me? 
Hello friends, it's the next day. I still haven't finished organizing the nail polishes. All I did was just throw in my ILNPs yesterday and then I did end up pulling some of my polishes that were on the top of my cabinets. I'll show you. I'll, I'll just explain that in a little bit, but I wanted to make lunch. I had such a hard time waking up this morning. <laughs> I did go to the gym which made me feel a little bit more awake, but it was so hard to get myself to go. And I also had physical therapy this morning, but yeah, I was just so exhausted. So I got a dirty chai latte to kind of pick me up, which I, I wouldn't normally drink. If you don't know, it's a chai with a shot of espresso in it. But I feel like, I don't know, I've been really needing caffeine recently. I've been drinking a lot of matcha and I feel like ever since I got that matcha advent calendar, I've just been kind of off matcha and I don't even know why, but I don't know, there's just something about it that was kind of putting me off. So recently I've been making it with water instead of almond milk, which is what I usually make it with. And it's been a lot more refreshing, so I've been enjoying that. But yeah, I just needed something intense this morning. I think I'm like starting to get a little bit more dependent on caffeine, which is not great because I have a hard time sleeping at night. So I don't really wanna be drinking caffeine too often anyway, but I don't know, I've just been exhausted, so. Caffeine's helping, whatever. But anyway, I just had a very good meeting. I feel like I've actually done a lot today so far. Yeah, so I'm about to have some lunch. I actually picked up this cup of noodles. They have, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but they have these stir fry versions of cup noodles and they are so delicious. I've been getting the, what was it? I think it's just regular teriyaki chicken, but I saw this one that was rice and noodles. So I picked this up. I thought it sounded really good. And I am soft boiling a couple of eggs because I wanna pop one in there. So I'm gonna have lunch, then we can mess around with the cabinets more. Wait, actually, I just opened this and I wanted to show you because this kind of looks wild. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it seems like it's mostly rice. It doesn't smell great, but it, it never smells great before it's cooking. But then when it's cooking, it smells delicious. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat it. <laughs> okay, so I am going to also move over my painted polish shades into one of the new drawers because they don't fit in here. I also have some in here, and I think there's other ones floating around in another drawer, so I'm going to find all of those and then give them their own drawer because I do have a lot of those nowadays. It seems like I actually have less than I thought I had of painted polish, so it barely fills up half of drawer, which is fine because I have a feeling I'm going to be having a lot more of them because I fell in love with that formula. I think they're really good. So. Yeah, I, I feel like I need time to kind of think about how I'm going to organize these because I still want to do a full like reorganization of all of the polishes, put them all in certain spots and leaving extra room for the polishes that I get a lot of collections from, and then also put them all in rainbow order, which I have not done since I moved here. So I am going to do that, but I think I need time to brainstorm that. <laughs> But anyway, I did want to talk to you guys really quick about my schedule. I think I talked about it in the last vlog that I was kind of struggling with my schedule a little bit. And I originally asked people if they would be cool with me doing my videos on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but, or no, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. I don't know why I said Saturday, but I've been thinking about it a lot. And I think that it's just easier for me to upload on weekdays. And then maybe I can post my vlogs on the weekends or just whenever. I have a vlog just because I don't know I feel like it's easier that way and then if people are weekend watchers then they'll have all of the week's videos ready to go so I am trying that so I've been doing Monday Wednesday Friday upload and I actually found it to be a lot easier it's funny because it's still the same exact situation so I was posting basically every other day from Friday through Tuesday and then there was two days so that was kind of like the weekend so it still ends up being the same amount of content at the same time. It's just different days of the week. But yeah, I, I think it's worked really well. Hopefully you guys are not minding that change. And obviously I'm talking about my main channel here when I'm talking about the schedule. Obviously the vlog channel, I still feel like I haven't gotten a good grasp on vlogging regularly. I'm kind of on and off with it, but I just feel like, I don't know, sometimes life is kind of boring. And even though I enjoy watching vlogs of people just kind of 
like living and existing. I'm always convinced in my mind that it's boring for other people to watch me do it. And maybe it is, I don't know, but sometimes I still post that kind of stuff anyway. But for the most part, I'm really just vlogging whenever something interesting happens. But I am planning on vlogging a little bit more. We're taking a little break from being on the strip, not for any crazy reason. I mean, we go to the strip, but we haven't been going to like fancy dinners or anything. And that is just because we need to save a little bit of money right now. So we are not gonna be doing restaurants for a little while, but I'll let you know when that starts back up again, but I still want to share with you the exciting stuff going on in our lives. So definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I don't have a schedule. And if you want to see when I upload new videos, then you might want to subscribe and then you'll get the notification if you sign up for notifications. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for joining me for another vlog. There should be another one coming relatively soon. So stay tuned for that. But yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one or I'll see you over on my main channel. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!